Warning, the following game I'm about to review may be too graphic to some viewers. For your own sake, please proceed at your own risk. Thank you. So the story to Silent Hill is that there's this guy named Harry Mason, and he's driving, but then he crashes his car and gets knocked out, then wakes up in Silent Hill and finds that he lost his daughter Cheryl, so he's gotta find her. Dude, I love the opening to this game. It's really good. So you're going this alleyway, but then you find these monsters, and you have no way to defend yourself, so you're just forced to die. But then it turns out that it was just a dream sequence. Now, if you were to ask someone what they think makes a game scary, they would most likely say that you're defenseless. You can only really keep the monsters away from you. Well, that'd be wrong. Because in this game, you can actually fight the monsters, but it's still plenty scary. In fact, this game doesn't even need jump scares to be scary. Which, by the way, jump scares are very dumb. Don't, don't rely on jump scares to make your game scary. That's what movies are for. So the combat in this game is very clunky. But it's clunky on purpose since you're playing as this random average Joe who's just trying to survive. Now the bosses in this game are mostly just easy. It's just a matter of shooting their weak point. I might as well just bring up my other flaw with this game, the cutscenes. The voice acting in them is, is not that good. And there are many pauses between sentences. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. Also, off topic real quick, Harry Mason literally sounds like a lower pitch version of John Arbuckle from Garfield and Friends. So you don't know anything either. Great. Uh-oh, 645. I still have to call and get directions to her apartment. Which, by the way, Garfield and Friends is a really good cartoon. You should check it out. A lot of the episodes are on YouTube. I mean, nothing YouTube copyright system. The puzzles in this game are very, very good. Special shout out to the piano one. That one is very clever. I'm not even going to spoil how to solve it. It's that clever. Alright, so I'm about to talk about some spoilers, so you know the drill. Skip to the time on screen right now if you don't have the game. I mean, it's your choice. You don't have to skip to the time, but I really do recommend it. Alright, on to the spoiler. So it turns out that there's this insane old woman named Dahlia Gillespie who's trying to perform this ritual to make her daughter give birth to her god. And it also turns out that Harry's daughter, Cheryl, is actually one part of Dahlia's daughter, Alessa. Now, sadly, I got the bad ending, so I had to kill Alessa slash Cheryl. Sorry, Harry. So, in the end, is Silent Hill good? Yes, it is great. It still holds up to this day. And also, this year is actually Silent Hill's 20th anniversary, so... Cool. So, Ligi, what do you think of Silent Hill...